Good morning and good evening. Day 810 in our series 2 to 5. And I say good morning and good evening because I did a split session today. Uh, really trying to get back into the writing. Um, working on the Mata Lisa, which is a comedy. I've uh, been working on it for a while. Just kind of got shelved because I was working more on the editing side of things. Now I'm trying to to do both, really missed the writing side, so I'm trying to reincorporate that. So I did that early, early this morning, really during my two to five session, and then I'm working on the editing at night. Um, not sure how I feel about it. I do like the fact that I'm just more creative early in the morning, ironically, because um, I'm tired, but uh, I just don't have as, I, I don't have all the distractions and uh, you know all the things that are vying for your attention. It's easier to focus, I think, when you know that nobody else is up, nobody else needs anything, and you can just focus on what you're up to do. But you know, you're still eyes are burning, and you're dying to get back to sleep, and <laughs> you know you're you're taking uh, you're taking a big chunk out of your sleep time. But um, you know you gotta do what you gotta do to get the stuff get this stuff done. Um, and during the day, it's really, really hard, you know, when you're trying to be creative and you're, you really want to focus. Uh, you know, we've got day jobs and, and those sorts of things and other responsibilities during the day. It's really hard to do it. So, it, you know, it's either late at night or early in the morning um, to get this stuff done. So, but uh, yeah, it worked out okay today. Um, worked on the, the editing tonight. Good stuff. Um, I always say that because I always try to find something something good in there some days are really really good uh today was a little bit frustrating just um it's just continuity things and i mean it's nothing nothing that uh that you can really help it's just some of the limitations of, of shooting with one camera and uh you know you can't have expectations on the actors to do everything exactly the same every time so you have just these little things that you have to work around um, that's why you shoot a lot of coverage and you've got a lot of things to be able to cut back and forth to um, sometimes it's not ideal because it's like oh, I'd really like to stay on this but this doesn't work so I mean you're just you're making these compromises uh, throughout so um, you know it doesn't line up exactly with how your mind is picturing it but uh, but I don't know, it forces you to be creative even in the, the editing process too. And I mean, I, I still am in awe of some of these ones you see, um, these big blockbusters. And I know they have whole fleets of editors and stuff working on these things. Uh, but God, what, what an undertaking. Uh, uh, and plus they have multiple cameras and stuff, so the cuts and stuff are cleaner. But uh, anyway, I digress. But yeah, uh, yeah, still putting together this big scene around the dinner table. Um, no, no real challenges other than continuity this time. A little bit of color correction is going to be needed, but nothing big there. Uh, it's a good scene. Uh, it's really playing out kind of like I envisioned it, other than, you know, when we cut, sometimes having to cut to different people. But, uh, you know, the, the core of the scene is, is definitely there. The performances are great. Um, I'm just working through, just trying to piece it, piece it together. And, uh, I don't know, it feels a bit like kind of a Frankenstein sometimes, and you're like, well, try this and try this and try this, and you go back and you play the scene, and I'm like, holy shit, it works, uh, which is really, really cool. So anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks for joining me. I will see you tomorrow.